rigged with those instruments. Wow. Hello, everybody. We are live. We are ready to rock it out with five different 10 minute meals today. Thank you so much for joining us. We have a million new people. Thanks to the free trial that we're doing this month. How are you, Reebs? I'm great. There she is. This the Reebs, back from maternity leave, her second show back. <laughs> this was the closest thing to Eye of the Tiger I could find that was royalty free. <laughs> to get us amped up, to get everybody excited. Hello, y'all. Get comfortable. We're going to be here for a little while. Okay. I'm. I'm riled up. I'm ready. I'm amped. Oh, you're it ready? Works. This is too long? All three of you can just... Put us on the big screen. Oh, boy. These are things we receive in the mail. Let's do this thing. Okay, sorry. Thank you, Reebs, for getting everybody jazzed. We're here from all over the world, it looks like. Wow. Around the world. We are making five easy 10-minute meals. Thank you so much for signing up for the free trial. We're throwing this thing up on YouTube, we just decided. But you're not going to get the recipes unless you sign up for the free trial. The link's down below, wellyourworld.com slash free trial. You'll get this show and the next show, which we'll tell you about later. Uh, you'll get, maybe, you, you, if you stick around, you'll get some pretty awesome shows in August, too. So we'll talk about that later, too. Reebs, what do you want me to tell everybody? So. Everything that we're doing here today, we're going to make into a beautiful PDF. Reeves has already made most of it. We'll finalize it all and we'll send it out to the emails of all the people that are already signed up for the membership, whether it's the free trial, whether you're already a member, whatever. And of course, this means that even during the free trial, you get access to all of our previous episodes too. This is episode oh. 97. What have you got to add to that, Reeves? I thought that you were going to say, even during the free trial, you get 10% off of the store. You do indeed. Even during the free trial, you get 10% off all of our products in the Well Your World store. We have free shipping at $50. We'll be using some of our products, but I never do on the cooking show. I never use any of the products in a way where they're required. All of this stuff is, you know, other, you could use your own favorite version of a spice blend that might, we might use ours for. Ketchup we're going to use, you can use your own ketchup. We have ketchup recipes that you can go back to other episodes and get too, because um, we're going to be making a really tasty Thousand Island. So with that, anything else to add? Sounds good. You don't me. have to take notes unless you want to. Um, if you have any questions, Reeves is in the chat box. Make your question obvious and she'll mm -hmm. interrupt me. Anything that we're doing here, uh, just chime in. Yeah, do like Tammy and Tom and put a bunch of question marks so I know it's a question. Because in the chat, people like to talk to each other about the yes, weather. It's very conversational. Any, any old thing. Well, th these are, this is the two parts of the show, you know. It's, this is why it's so good for beginners and people who've been doing this for a long time. There's a really strong community aspect. If you come to the show often, you get to know all the names in the chat box. Everybody's hanging out and having a good time. And I find that, I think I don't just find, most people find that having a sense of community, feeling like you're not the only one in your real world doing this, eating like us, it uh, makes it a lot easier. So yeah. tap into that. Come into our Facebook group, the Well Your World Facebook group. We're doing a July challenge right now. That's why we've got the, the uh, free trial going. Where is my challenge? I'm doing a kick butt job of my challenge. I've gotten the proper sleep that I wanted every day so far. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Dill. <laughs> there are some wake-ups in the <laughs> night, but for the most part, we're getting pretty good. We're getting to bed earlier. That's really yeah. what it's about. But anyway, join us for the July challenge. All it is is picking healthy habits and sticking to it, uh, picking how much, how often you want to do those healthy habits and making it happen. So uh, with that, let's get right into it. And let me talk about why 10-minute meals is such an important part of maintaining a really healthy diet. A lot of people think, you know, they, go, they come into this and they want to get every single cookbook that's ever existed, try a million new recipes in their like first month trying out healthy food, and it, it tends to cause you to burn out. It caused me to burn out. I got started that way. It took me a few months to sort of figure out that I didn't have to eat what everybody thinks food should look like from a restaurant, for example. A mm -hmm. whole big plate of a recipe or whatever. We don't have to eat that way. It can be really, really easy. And the easier you make it, the less brain goes into it, the, m the less uh, chance you're gonna psych yourself out or decide that you don't wanna make the healthy food that day and you'll go cop out and do something uh, easy. But here's the thing, this can be easy too. In fact, this can be way faster than going out and having somebody else make the food for you. That's so we're gonna, true. Sh that is true. 
We're going to show you five 10 minute meals. You can time us if you want to. It, we're going to be within a couple of minutes of 10 minutes, which I mean, if you're anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, you're going to be rocking it. Uh, all of this stuff is really easy to get. Everything we're going to be doing is easy to find. Uh, simple ingredients. <laughs> we, you know, the thing about my cooking is we never make it complicated. There's never a time when you've got to use the sweet paprika instead of the smoked or the this instead of the that. It can just be anything. All of these recipes can be modified. Use them as a blank slate. Something to give you ideas for how to go after these 10 minute meals. Because let's be real, there is an unlimited number of 10 minute meals that you can make day in, day out. But I would mm -hmm. just recommend you pick a few. We're, we're giving you five that are quite different from one another to get the juices flowing. Not everybody is going to like all five of these. So you got to find like two or three and just do them on repeat until you don't even have to think about it. You know I'm going to grab this, this, they're all the things I already have in my fridge from my regular weekly shopping list and then just make it happen day in, day out. Holly says, I'm counting on it being quick and easy. I'm failing at not grabbing something out because of time. Okay, well I think we can help you with that. And, you know, there's, there's a couple ways to make things fast. One is to do from scratch meals really fast like this. The other is when you do decide to go into the kitchen and do like more like a recipe of, with fresh ingredients and chopping to make a really big portion that will last you a few days in the fridge. Um, that's another way to really cut the time so that you're not cooking every single meal. But for lunches th and dinners, things that you just want to do really quickly, you're going to love these. So, shall we start? Yeah. Okay. Don't rely on your willpower. Make it really, really simple. Here we go. Well, let me just tell you the five that we're going to do. Okay. The first one's going to be a corn potato chowder. How could you do that? You have to chop the potatoes and peel the potatoes and chop them. There's no way you could do that in 10 minutes. Watch. Uh, then we're going to do the chickpea lettuce cups. We've got a really simple lettuce cup with chickpeas that you're going to love. And again, you can, you can take that flavor and you can go a million different directions with it. Then we're going to do a wrap. We're going to do a hamburger wrap that Reeves invented this week. Uh, it, she made it thousand for dinner Island for me dressing. with a Thousand Island dressing. It was so, so good. Uh, you're going to love it. Then we're going to do this really simple Buddha bowl that we've talked about a couple times, but we're finally showing it to you. And it's the fastest, easiest Buddha bowl <laughs> ever. And then we're going to make a really cool peanut sauce ramen, little tossed little ramen thing. We're going to play with these. My favorite ramen noodles from Costco or elsewhere. You can get this big pack from Costco. That's the cheapest way to find them. These are the brown rice and millet ramen noodles. So they're not like a white rice noodle or a, uh, you know, pro overly processed garbage thing. These are healthy delicious noodles and no added salt, oil, or sugar. Everything we're going to be doing today can be totally SOS free. A couple of things we're going to do optionally have some, a little bit of added salt, but never any oil, never any sugar. Uh, and the modifications, I'll, I'll talk to you along the way. If you have any questions about the ingredients, what we're doing, the process, ask, ask Reeves in the chat and because I can't see the chat at the same time, so she'll relay the message. Let's rock and roll. We are making a corn chowder. Heck yeah. Okay. Here's what it's going to be, y'all. I don't believe you. You don't ten, believe me? Ten minutes in a chowder. It depends how fast your stove will heat it up, because it is a soup. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, the prep for this one is one minute. So I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable telling you that you can do it in ten. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, we're going to start by taking, this is the veggie stock that I love. This is a Pacific uh, brand. It's a low sodium, not a no sodium. They have a Kitchen Basics brand of veggie stock that you can buy in the store that is no sodium. I'm going to be coming out very soon with a veggie stock powder, actually a couple of different ones, that are going to be make it so easy to whip up a quick veggie stock just by blending it with some water. Um, but it's not out yet. In the meantime, I really like the specific brand one. I've got a whole quart and I've got my Dutch oven. I'm, not, I'm just going to throw everything in. This is, a, this is a dump and go. It has to be a dump and go. So we're going to empty out a quart of veggies. Start your timers, folks. Here we go. Oh, wow. He's up for the challenge it's today. 10 after. Here we go. <laughs> uh, OK, so this is a whole quart of veggie stock into the I like these cast iron Dutch ovens. They're a lot of they're really nice for uh, making big soups and stews because they heat really consistently all around. They're quiet on an induction stove. Uh, well, let's finish with our liquid. This is two cups of soy milk. Any soy milk will do. My favorite is the one from Trader Joe's. If they've got it in stock that day, 
It keeps coming in and out of stock for whatever reason. So we've got six cups of juice in there. Then I've got the equivalent of one can of corn. Here, I'll show you what we've got here. Can of corn. Uh, I'm using the an actual, this is a frozen bag of corn, so I've used a cup and a half. Um, but That's that Trader Joe's, that char-roasted one. I love the Trader Joe's char-roasted corn. Gives you a little bit of extra flavor, but if you don't like the char, you can use regular frozen corn. You don't even have to thaw it. Uh, or you can just rinse and drain one can of corn and throw it in. There's our corn. Boom. Ready for the secret ingredients? This is going to blow your mind. I want to know. Okay. This is the potatoes we're going to use. These are the, this is from Winco, Southern style hash brown uh, potatoes. It's just plain old potatoes. It does have a couple of little preservatives in there, but when you want to go really fast, you have to decide, uh, you know, how perfect and clean you want to be. It's a tiny bit of like dextrose as a preservative, uh, so that I'm going to be okay with. Uh, other places call them potatoes O'Brien, and they might have some diced pep bell pepper in there. Cool, use it. <laughs> uh, you could use hash brown potatoes for this, but it's just going to be a different texture. And so these, I think they're, I was going to look this up actually, but I feel like these are slightly cooked because when we did this, when we were practicing this recipe, it was really fast. Uh, the potatoes cooked even faster than I expected. And because they're russets, they got a little mushy and they made the soup even creamier. I loved it. Here's the next thing. If you've looked at our soup formulator that Reeb's made, we have a video with our soup formulator with our mm -hmm. lemon rice soup. And you can go to our website, download the formulator too. And it shows you a really easy, instead of relying on recipes, a really easy way to make a soup just with whatever you've got. And one of the first things that's most important is having carrots, celery, and onion. So this is from Fry's Kroger. You can get this. Are you talking about a mirepoix? A mirepoix. Come on now, just give me some focus. This has carrots, celery, onion. I think that's it. Yep, carrots, celery, onion. So we got one bag of that. These, this is oh. like a 10 or 12 ounce bag. What is sometimes it, those, ounce. Sometimes those blends can have herbs like parsley and onion and sometimes they do there's another one in here that's called um, this is costing me time guys stop the timers stop <laughs> the timers this is a seasoning blend from great value so that's win uh walmart and this yeah. one as you can see has carrots celery some red bell pepper green bell pepper and parsley in it that would work just fine you're only missing the carrots whatever so there's a lot of different options. Every store has a different selection of frozen stuff, but this is what I'm saying. Don't get caught up on any one thing. It doesn't have to be any one thing. Just rock and roll with it. Boom. You can see that's going to make a nice big pot of soup. Check it out. Check it out. See, this is like a, a good sized Dutch oven. Then we just got some flavorings to throw in and we're rock and ready. I love a little bit of our Well Your World nutritional yeast. This is our non-fortified nutritional yeast. Remember, 10% off. So throw in some nooch. We've got right here, I've got a mixture of parsley, dried chives, tarragon. I love dried tarragon in a creamy potato soup. I don't know why, but it's just yeah. so, so good. Some black pepper and some paprika, and we're gonna throw that all in here. And you know what? If you guys have recipes you make over and over, you should batch these spices. These, I just threw in the nooch, right? I stole somebody else's paprika and nooch, I guess. Or you and I both prepped uh, two of them, but we'll get to it because I know I just threw them in. <laughs> I'll find where they go if they go with something else. Uh, what did you say, Reeves? Repeat that, sorry. I said that with these uh, spices, you can batch them if these are recipes that you make all the time. Absolutely. This would be a very simple one to just like make little, uh, little tiny spice jars. You can get the little tiny mason jars. I got to get this on the stove. Let's go over to the stove. We'll get this heated up. And all it's got to do now is cook. Let it simmer for a few minutes. You can let it cook for for a few minutes, you can let it cook for 20 minutes, you can let it cook for all day, it doesn't matter, it'll be really good. So let's just get in here and stir it up. You'll have to bust up a little bit of it, you know, get it all mixed in. It may look like you need more liquid, but let it heat up first before you add too much juice because you'll find that as everything starts to thaw, it's gonna give off some liquid too. And boom, you've got yourself a potato corn chowder. This is so good, who'd have thought to use the frozen potatoes for a soup. I love it. Good job, Reeves. 
Now you can't go through the drive through you guys. No, and this is like, you can barely tell the difference between this and like my freshly made potato leek soup, which is like That's one of I my favorite. That's what I was gonna say. Like Dylan's potato leek soup and he like lovingly cuts up the leeks and he washes them by hand and it's really so good. But I told him, I'm like, I hope you're not offended, but I would eat <laughs> this soup over that anytime if you were too lazy to make the other one. <laughs> And I will be. Now that I know how, <laughs> I will be. I will be. <laughs> I mean, it's just so, so easy. Y'all, we are doing a free trial right now. If you're joining us on YouTube and you don't know anything about it, we got a lot of people watching right now. Please consider trying out a free trial of our show. We love doing this show. We go live two times every month and you get all the back episodes. There are 96 others in addition to today's episode. They're always vegan oil free recipes. Really, they're always SOS free because I, if I ever use something like we're gonna use a little miso paste, it can be omitted very easily. You'll have PDFs of all of the recipes from all of our shows, including today's. We're doing obviously a free month. It's 15 bucks a month. I think that's a great value. And of course, that first bullet point, you get 10% off of all of our products in the store, whether it's shirts, the food products, our sauces, spice blends, our cookbook. We're gonna have a new cookbook soon in a few months. Uh, I hope sooner than that, though. Yeah, it should be sooner than that. But I don't want to overpromise. Gail is asking, can this be made in the Instant Pot? And I'm going to answer that one. I'm going to say yes. Almost every recipe you can cut by a third for the Instant Pot. Totally. Yeah, this would be easy to make in the Instant Pot. You mean a, a third of the cook time? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Not this a is third of the ingredients. <laughs> Same amount of ingredients. This, I, this would fit nicely in a six quart Instant Pot. And uh, you just, I would probably do like four minutes, you know, max. I yeah, wouldn't, and then quick release Manual too. release, yeah, quick release. And that would be fine. And then just give it a stir, it's heating up already. And as soon as it's hot, it's, it's gonna be ready because these potatoes are obviously like parboiled a little bit or pre-cooked in some way. Yeah. That's one, what do you think, y'all? <laughs> you did it so fast. Well, I guess it's still cooking. It's still cooking. I was like, you did it so fast, you'll have to do a jig for the rest of the time. It's still cooking, and then we'll taste it, and we'll move on. Um, by the way, let me tell you while we're waiting what our next shows are going to be. You want to talk about that? Heck yeah. So our next shows are going to be these two shows. We're going to do a camping meals. I have gotten so many requests for what do you do out and about, whether it's traveling, camping, etc. Picnics picnics so we're going to talk about how we pack things up what gear we use we'll even cook whatever we cook on my little propane stove because i why not what do i oh this is well, my other pot system. you know i came from the midwest and i i didn't really know about the culture here in arizona that sometimes when you go camping you can't have a fire oh yeah well that's not a culture thing that's just because it's so darn dry that you can't burn certain times, certain parts of the year. And of course, it's like the time of the year when you want to be burning. So it's like the first time I got to experience like bringing the little Coleman flip top thing or even just the tiny one. Mm -hmm. You did get me this cool gas burner that we haven't used yet. That's a little gas fire pit. Oh that, yeah. That could be used. Mm -hmm. You just can't, you Those know. Sneak, the sneaky yet legal ones that you're allowed to use. It's, yeah. it's not wood burning. You can shut it off and it's off. So as long as you do that, <laughs> um, we'll show you. Well, I'll show you some more pictures of some camping stuff later. So that's going to be one of our shows that we're going to do on the 22nd. And on the 20th, I'm going on Chef AJ's show too. So we're going to be doing, Ooh. we're going to be live a lot in two weeks from now. Did anyone catch Chef AJ was on your channel yesterday? That was fun. Yeah. She made some really amazing desserts. I was blown away. I can't believe how, how you can make such healthy, delicious desserts. And then our second show, our next show after camping is on the 5th of August. It's gonna be what Reeves has called Blank Canvas Recipes. Would you like to tell us a little bit about what that actually means, Reeves? Yeah, so what that means is we'll give you like a skeleton outline of a recipe, but any of the vegetables that go inside of it can be anything. So whatever you have in the fridge that you need to use up, you can throw it in. Like an example of a blank canvas recipe that we're not doing would be pizza. You know, you have the crust, you have the sauce, now you can put whatever you want on top. Mm -hmm. But tell them on the one that you made me last week that we are doing, because it was amazing. Well, it's still a blank canvas recipe, mm -hmm. but it is a tamale pie. 
We are making a tamale pie. I've been begging Dylan to make tamales, and he won't do it because it takes all day. It's so, like a fancy meal. That's like something you do at Christmas time. Yeah. <laughs> Tamales, give me a break. So she made a tamale pie, which can have any ingredients, and then you just make it into a tamale pie. And it was, I was like stunned. It was so good. You guys, good. put me on the screen. This there is serious. There you go. This is serious, is it? There is a tamale restaurant five minutes from our house that has vegan tamales. It is bad news for us. I needed a way to make it so that I didn't drive to the tamale restaurant. Yeah. We tamale were buying, pie. We were buying the, they sell them frozen because of course they don't usually have the vegan ones hot, but we were buying these frozen tamales when you were just had Luca. Yeah, and I'm allowed. There's too much oil in them. So now we got this and it's so easy. We're like right on it now. Thanks to our July challenge, we're like in a good groove, in a deep groove. What else? What else is everybody saying? That ho the soup's still heating. We are, we're probably at the 10 minute mark, but you can see this one's really easy and just needs to heat up. That's all it's a matter of. We were, but we got caught talking. What do you think there, typer? I'm just, I'm just typing away. Reeves is just typing away. <laughs> Keep, keep me posted on the comments, if you will. We've got I will a do few my hundred job. people walking, <laughs> oh, walking, watching. So people were saying, thank you, Luca, for being born. Now we have this 10-minute meal episode. <laughs> <laughs> I have been including a photo of Luca in our, uh, my Facebook updates of how I'm doing on the challenge. He's, his photos are much more popular than the post itself. <laughs> I'm like, Bill, you can't put a baby picture every day. <laughs> I'm He's like, like can I? Can't I though? Ooh, this is getting hot. This is getting hot. I love the mirepoix mix. Having carrot, celery, and onion all ready to go, you can use that for just about any soup. So use it. It's cheap. <laughs> it's ready. Yeah. Debbie says, yogurt in the Instant Pot, new cooling hack. Turn on the ceiling fan and walk away. Explain that. What am I missing? Yogurt in the Instant Pot. Ceiling fan. Cooling hack, because you do some blow dryer thing. Oh, to cool the yogurt that we're home making. Yes, I use the blow dryer. You should tell people about your new hack. Oh my gosh, <laughs> y'all! So a couple episodes back, a lot of people signed up for the show just because they knew we were. I was gonna teach how to make our homemade soy yogurt, and it was really popular. I was pleased, but one, the hardest step is cooking the soy milk without having it like boil over, because you know how soy milk is bubbly. So I got a stir mate, which <laughs> stirs it so it stops. Because I mean, the other thing is it scorches the bottom of the pot if you're not careful. So you almost have to constantly stir the soy milk for like 20 minutes. Not that fun. Um, but it's such a good way to make yogurt. So I got this stir mate and it's just, it was like 60 bucks and it just stirs the pot for the whole 20 minutes and problem solved. It didn't boil over and it didn't scorch. So I'm gonna add that to my new uh, yogurt method. So go back. It's kind of nerdy. If you're on the free trial, it's extremely nerdy, but that's why you guys are hiring me to figure it out for you so that you don't have to be the ones nerding out over all the details. I'll be your engineer, and now you go and enjoy the yogurt that costs you $1 a quart. I mean, look at this beautiful yogurt. I made like three or four quarts yesterday. Perfect yogurt. Check the, the it's beautiful and thick. Look at this yogurt, it's thick. Whoa. It's perfect. Just like it's when they creamy. do the blizzard at Dairy Queen. And then you can blend it with fruit and dates and make, and this whole, this uses about a dollar's worth of soybeans. So it's, this at the store would be like what, $10 probably? Yeah. For a that, whole, for four cups what of What is yogurt? it, that Forager brand is pretty good, but it's yeah. Like, it's what, like what, a quarter cup, a half a cup maybe? Yeah. So you can make your own and uh, it's really fun and easy. How are we doing on the stove? Let's check it out. I hear a little bit of a simmer happening. So we are ready to go on this. I'm gonna have a little taste and see if I burn my face. The potatoes are already soft. Like this literally just needs to get to temperature. But look at the color. It's like so creamy and delicious looking. Mm -hmm. It is, it's really nice. I could put even a little more black pepper. So let's have a, let's have a taste. I'm gonna get a bowl out and we'll taste this thing. Got ourselves a ladle. Let's grab a little bowl. <laughs> Kathy says the stew. single size are $1.89. Yikes. Yeah, that's that's just too much. 
So as you can see, like I was saying, it, it's more liquidy now that everything has thawed. So you, the six cups, the four cups of the veggie stock and the two cups of the soy milk were just like perfect. Okay. So there you have it. There's one meal. Let's have a little taste. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. You don't even have to like immersion blender half of it. That's a good point. You do not need to blend. You can immersion blend it if you want, but you don't have to. This is already going to be nice and creamy. The soy milk's like perfect. Mm. That's hot. So good. I love the corn, the carrots, the color. It's got everything you need to be a hearty soup. This will fill you up. I can sit down and eat like three bowls of this soup. And you'll be left full and satiated. You're not going to want to go and get another, you know, junky snack after. You got to make sure that you're lots of starch in your meals. Make them filling. Mm. Oh boy. So people are talking in the Hot. chat about our Facebook group. And if you're not a part of it, you should be. Yeah, it's a free Facebook group. You can join. We got like 25,000 people in there. Because that's where everyone gets to chat when we're not live and post your meals. Kathy's here. She's our moderator. It's an awesome group. Please join us. It's very inspiring because people are very supportive and kind. You can ask questions. You know, try not to ask things that are like too specific medical questions or we'll delete your posts. <laughs> make sure your posts, it's a lot of people posting their own food like I do. Just make sure it's vegan and oil free and, and you'll get lots of support and lots of ideas. I mean, you can search that group and find an answer to probably any question. Holly asks, what doctor did you follow at the start of your journey? The first doctor I followed was Dr. John McDougall. As you're stirring a pot of potato soup. Yeah, Dr. John McDougall and the starch solution. I'm going to take this off because we're going to need the burner for our next item. By the way, it'll heat up even faster if you cover it when you're first heating it. So that's a little hack. Um, a lot of people are very concerned in the chat about whether you poured Mama Reeves a bowl. Uh, Mama Reeves, are you ready for a bowl or do you want to come back to this? <laughs> what, I ha what Dylan needs to do for me is pour me a bowl and I need to let it sit for 10 minutes before I can try it. <laughs> because yes. I can't burn my mouth like he can. <laughs> uh, I know she loves this one. We'll make sure you get the next one. You're going to try the lettuce cups. Just give me that one. Oh, you want and to? I'll taste it in three okay, minutes. Okay, taste it on the Reebs cam. Yeah, remind Sorry, me. Sorry, everybody. I'm not, not going to burn my mouth right now. What? It's cool now. I promise. Ish. I promise. I promise. Ish. ish. It's still hot, but it's very, very tasty. Yeah, it's a good one. It's so easy. This is like the kind of soup that Dylan just leaves out all day and just helps himself when he feels like <laughs> it. Okay, y'all. Next one is going to be our Yum. chickpea lettuce cups. This one is so easy. I'm going to go, I'm going to have this, this pan is the Mona one we'll Mona says, use. did you use unsweetened soy milk? Oh, yes. The one from Trader Joe's is just a soy beverage. It is nothing but soybeans and water. I do not like the flavor. Even if it was healthy, I can't stand the flavored soy milks with the vanilla or the sweeteners in them. Mm -hmm. No, this is just always soybeans and water in this house. That's why I don't drink the store-bought almond milk. Uh, frankly, I like the flavor of soy milk better anyway. I don't like, it's creamier to me than almond milk. Um, I just prefer the soy. I've gotten used to it. Soy is very healthy. There's a lot of myths and BS out there about soy being an ingredient that you should avoid. You should not avoid oh, yeah. soy. Healthy whole soy products are excellent for as a part of your healthy diet. Uh, they're very health promoting. So don't avoid soy just for no reason. Just uh, for no reason. Because you, you have a soy allergy, that's a reason. That is an excellent reason <laughs> to avoid soy, of course. Uh, okay, this next one, we're gonna make some chickpea lettuce cups. Ready, start your timers, folks. I've got one green onion. I'm just gonna slice this real nice and thin. Maybe I'll cut this like that. And we're just going to slice one green onion. We're going to use this in a little bit. Ooh, I sharpened this knife and it is feeling good. All right. And it was just one scallion green onion. And we're going to throw it in. There's very few ingredients needed for this one. And it's probably always going to be thing that you've got lying around. OK, so there we have it. Boom. Set that aside. Here are some mint leaves. This is like six or eight mint leaves. 
I'm gonna just chop it up nice and fine and we're gonna toss it in with our lettuce cup filling. And as I'm making this, keep in mind that you can play with any set of flavors that you want. This one is sort of a, what are we calling this flavor, Reebs, on these lettuce cups? Oh, well, it's kind of an Indian it's flavor. Kind of, yeah, it's more of an Indian flavor. In fact, a really good uh, product to use if you want to even save more time would be to play with our Indian sauce. Our bottled Indian sauce is one of our most popular products, and it's just would be so as simple as throwing it in with the chickpeas, tossing mm -hmm. it maybe with some fresh ingredients like the green onion and the mint if you wanted, and boom, you're done. Add some garlic. And though there is some in there already, but I like a lot of garlic. We don't play around with the fresh mint enough, honestly. Okay, fair criticism. <laughs> of our personal life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get over there. The, the rest of what we're gonna need, well, I'll tell you as we're throwing it in, but let's come over to the stove and we'll rock and roll on meal number two. I uh, just turned the heat on this. I wanna make sure it's not too hot, so I'll throw in a little bit of water. Okay, I didn't have it on very high. So I'm, I always crank my stove up to high when I'm, when I'm actually at the stove. Medium high is good. I love to play with high. And I'm, I use a spatula for this one because it's gonna make a thick sauce. And it's nice to use the spatula to kind of keep it all incorporating as some of our liquid starts to um, evaporate off, okay? So I'm gonna throw in, this is one can of chickpeas. Try to find the no salt added chickpeas. You can usually find low salt. Just give them a good hard rinse and that'll be better than, you know, nothing. But I like to use the no salt added because there's just so much salt that they put in beans. And again, they're cooked, so all we're going to be doing really here is heating it through. And we're going to add some flavor. I've got some curry powder here, throw that on. I've got some ground cumin. I love ground cumin. Again, this is where you could be using the Indian sauce in the bottle if you want. Here's some chili pepper, that's optional. I like a little kick. And some turmeric. You got to have turmeric in anything you're making Indian. And now let's add a little bit of water. That was maybe a couple, couple tablespoons or so of water, maybe a quarter cup, but it's all gonna evaporate off. We're really just using it to mix, and then this is gonna thicken up beautifully. So just keep it moving around. Now we're cooking all of these delicious flavors from the spices. You wanna and this is how you do it when you don't use oil, because I'm sure a lot of people might still be caught up on that. Yes, if you wanna cook the healthy way, leave out the oil and just play around with either veggie stock or water. I do this dish b both ways, veggie stock or water. You can barely tell the difference because most of the flavor is coming from these really healthy spices. Ooh, someone said a pinch of sumac would be fabulous. Ooh, we that. could do that. We've got that in the pantry. Yes, and I love where your I love where your head's at with that because you can take this any direction. You can do any sort of style. You can do a Cajun. We've got a voodoo spice blend that we're selling in the store now. That's a really tasty no salt added spice uh, uh, Cajun spice blend, Creole spice blend, and it's uh, sweetened a little bit with our date powder. Actually, people are loving that one too. Okay, so this is all he heated through really nicely, and now I'm going to throw in some garlic. This is minced, regular old minced garlic. This is, I always call it the cheater garlic, because it's the stuff from the jar. You can use cheater fresh. garlic. You could use garlic powder, but I like, I like the minced garlic in this. It makes it look prettier and chunkier. And then again, as it starts to evaporate, just add a little bit of water, and we'll just keep it going. And shake your pan, as half the time I stir just by shaking. How's that looking? Well, that's uh, going at only, I'm, yes ma'am. Well, you should really ask me how it smells because. How does it smell? <laughs> it smells fantastic. <laughs> I love the, the smell, the, I love Indian flavors. It's just the best. How long does that cheater garlic last in the fridge? It lasts for a long time. I think of that big Costco jar, it has citric acid in it to keep the pH right. So it's not really gonna go bad. We've had it last for Ooh. months. Coach Carolyn saying, I can't find it at Costco. Where do they put it in the store? You know where they put it in the store? You know in the produce section where you like don't look down at the stuff underneath the produce? That's where it is. Um, like underneath the apples. Where? What? Which item? The cheater garlic when it's not at Costco. Okay, well I, I find it at Costco in the spice blend section. But... I don't, are you saying at, co oh, you're saying in the regular grocery store is yeah. where to find, yes, you can get much smaller jars of the cheater garlic, but I recommend the large one. At Costco, it's in the spice with all of the different spice, spices, there are no salt seasoning, the pepper and all that kind of stuff. The salt's all over there. 
the vanilla uh, extract is usually over there. Okay, <laughs> this is coming along nicely. Now all we gotta do is throw in our mint and our onions. Go ahead, Reebs. You sound like you got something to say. No, I'm just laughing at you. You're just like, uh, the, the, the Cholula's over there. The, the distilled white vinegar is over there. There goes the onions. Here goes the mint. Look how beautiful. Add just another splash of water just to keep it from sticking. The water at this point is just allowing us to continue to kind of steam everything together. We don't want to overcook our green stuff now so we're going to kill the heat throwing on a few some black sesame seeds that's optional if you're avoiding nuts and seeds but it makes it really pretty and boom that's it how many minutes was that it was just a little sizzle sizzle let's take it over here and we'll make some lettuce cups of course you can make this into a whole salad this could be a topping. You could make roasted chickpeas the yeah. same way with the same flavors and your air fryer. The sky's the limit. Hey, Reeves. Oh, gosh. She hates Dylan. when I say that. Okay, are you ready to <laughs> assemble? Heck yeah. Will you be enjoying one today? Yeah. All right. You want me to come over? Sure, come yes. on over. <laughs> they were, the person that asked was like, I was asking at Costco, okay. Sorry for telling you I thought I understood uh, it that way. I'm sorry but now you know where to go. Underneath <laughs> the apples. <laughs> Under the apples, by the lemons, next <laughs> to the limes. Okay, for this, the type of lettuce that we really like to use for this, I'm sure you've seen it before, but it comes in these crates. Bib lettuce. Looks like this in a little crate. It's got the little root ball here and it makes for some really nice lettuce cups. So Reeves, would you like to spoon in? Let me grab you a proper <laughs> if spoon. If you wanted to be super fancy, you could do a little endive. Oh, endive. That does sound fancy. I never find, where's that at the store? That's in there. That's, that's in the regular place with all the greens. <laughs> yeah, I like endive. It's, it can be, yeah, it can be kind of cup-like. Cup it can that. be cup. You could use romaine in a pinch. It's like stringy lettuce. Wait, am I just making yeah, one for myself great. and just uh, yeah. eating it on my lonesome? There she has it. Wait, I want to show. Okay, show. Oh. It's so simple. You got your starch, you got your greens, you got a delicious flavor. Oh, it's hot. It is going to be hot as it turns out with it oh. coming off the stove. You're going to spit it out, so she's going to go off camera and spit it back into... See, this is why. For those of you asking why I didn't give Mama Reeves any, <laughs> she can't handle any little level of temperature. It's like 2,000 degrees. 2,000 degrees. Wow. Oh, just wrap it up. It starts to wilt your lettuce just a little bit. Mm. Okay, my problem was taking too large a bite. Mm, you could put... Mm -hmm. <laughs> You could put a little bit of avocado on top. Yes, that's how I usually serve it. A tiny drizzle of tahini would be really good on top. That's also got a sort of Mediterranean flavor, Indian flavor, I guess. I'd put some Wally World Sriracha. Wally World Sriracha? Oh, it is. this is such a good recipe. I know this is a 10 minute meal, but you mm. guys can make it 20 minute meals too because I'd dice up some jalapeno in here, some red pepper, but this is the easier version, the fast version. And we just did one uh, can worth. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to make this for the whole family, like we, we would eat a meal of this and no other items. Like, yeah, that, that burned a little going down. You know, we but were we talking, that's a conversation that we had with uh, Tammy and Tom once, is mm -hmm. that you guys don't have to have like multiple courses for your meals anymore. It's just one thing. You don't have to worry about it. You don't need to have a soup, a salad, a side. What is a side anymore? Sides <laughs> are the mains. Sides are the mains. Welcome to Well Your World. Ha <laughs> ha. This is so good. Oh man, that is so good. We're gonna make this one into a YouTube video by itself soon. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's like I'd pay $14.99 for this at PF Chang's. <laughs> Except at PF Chang's you leave so thirsty because the food <laughs> is so disgustingly salty. Oh my gosh, I haven't been to that place in years, thank goodness. <laughs> oh man, that is good. Another one down, that's two. How are we doing on time? Not very good, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> there are 10 minutes, but there's so much messing around in between. How are we doing on time? Not very good. 40 minutes to make two 10 minute meals. <laughs> it's a telethon. This is, after all, a hangout. 
y'all. We're hanging out, we're having fun, and we're gonna make our favorite simple Winco meal. Oh yes, I've been telling people about this forever. We call it Winco because that's the only place that I uh, saw this one product until I saw it the other day at Fry's. I'll explain. Um, we're gonna do a little. We're gonna get our steamer pot going. Let me let me uh, clean up just a little bit. Well, put me on the screen. I burned my mouth, so now I need a limoncello Lacroix. All right, Reeves, be entertaining. Read us some comments from the chat box if you don't mind. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Dave says, smoke coming out of Reeves' ears. <laughs> oh, some people in the video, you can tell now, if this is your first time, you can tell in the chat there's people going on and about whatever they want, but this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, and we encourage it. <laughs> Everyone's talking about the YouTube video you made, talking about when you cut your finger on the show. Oh, yeah. That's like probably my favorite one. Well, this is episode 97, which means we've been making this show since 2018 in the summer. It was my first time. Wow. I used to do it on Zoom uh, when I didn't have a Reebs. I had to do it all myself. And uh, so I was, I'd let people come on and talk to ask the questions because I couldn't watch a chat box and cook. So we did it in Zoom. And there were only probably 20 of us in the Zoom uh, until I met you like a year later. And it was episode two when I cut my finger chopping a red bell pepper and then tried to act like nobody saw it <laughs> and everybody of it's course saw it gushing but I was, blood like that one yeah, SNL skit I'm like have a paper towel over my hand and I'm just kind of like hiding it like this <laughs> uh, yeah that was really so I ended up making a video making fun of myself because I was so embarrassed that I tried to play it cool like it didn't happen uh, but I was a rookie back then man that was until Reeves came and we moved this show to YouTube, so because I had someone who could actually read the chat box, <laughs> and now what? Marlo says Dylan was so funny back then. Wow. What Not happened? Anymore. <laughs> what happened to this guy? <laughs> He's a dad. A lot He's of people so say now. things are funnier with Reeves, but <laughs> <laughs> we've come a long way. We now have a thousand people on this show for, signed up for our membership. It is a milestone I never thought in a million years uh, we'd hit. And so thank you so much for the support. It is very special to have people actually like the work that you do. And when you like the work that you do, it doesn't really feel like work. And this it's show true. is like, the reason we're going slow is because it's the funnest part of our day, you know? Yeah. Normally this isn't public on YouTube. We're, we're all hanging out and we're here for the long form content. Okay, let's get to it. Wait. Yes, ma'am. Anne has a question. Yes, please, Anne. Do we have a new painting for the month? Oh boy. This painting, thanks to Luca's birth, you know, Luca came and you got 10 minute meals, but you didn't get a new painting every month. We haven't been shopping at the Goodwill uh, quite as often because Reeves now lives at this used baby store where <laughs> everything goes 90% off and she's like, I gotta go, I'll be back, I'll explain later. And she comes with like bags of onesies and I'm like, what is happening? It's one child. She's like, there could be others. He's got all his clothes to like kindergarten. <laughs> Yeah, he's got all sizes of clothes now. Okay, let me get some stuff out of the freezer. We are gonna make the simplest nourish bowl. You're not even gonna believe it. <laughs> Mary Jean says, I just got a baby swing on offer up. I'm like, yeah, that's I got this one at she, that store. Yeah. She found that thing and it's and it's way better than the expensive one that we first had. You guys, I don't wanna tell you what it was, because I'll be embarrassed. But I bought something on Amazon. It was like two hundred dollars, and then I went to that baby store, and it was seventy. Boom. I have a washing machine. Enough baby talk. Let's okay, sorry. Cook. We got a Some ten-minute meal to make. You're, what? You're barely gonna use it, but somebody was asking about your knives. Oh, sure. This is uh, my favorite brand of knife. I have a s other sizes, but this is the style of knife that I love the most. This is. If you go down below the description box of this video. Um, has a link, wellyourworld.com slash gear, and it'll go to the Amazon store with all of the different gear that we use. And this is a Global G5. I love the Global G5. You can get it on Amazon, but also search. Um, there's a, another, Sointu uh, has it for often cheaper than Amazon. It's about 100 bucks you can usually get this knife for. And it lasts me for at least a couple years until I finally sharpened it so narrow that I'm hitting my knuckles on the cutting board. But we do a lot of chopping for the show and for work. Um, for you at home, it'll probably last you a number of years. Awesome knives. Do you need a $100 knife to be successful with this diet? Absolutely not. The most you need is a cheap $20 knife that you keep sharp. You can get one of those things to sharpen it. 
a cutting board that you like, and some cookware. You can get an Instant Pot if you want to get fancy. You can get the Vitamix if you want. These, are, I definitely recommend a Vitamix and an Instant Pot, but don't get caught up and think that you've got to have these things in order to be successful and healthy and maintain a healthy whole plant food diet. You don't need them, but they do help, especially when it's what you're going to be eating for the rest of your life, which it is for us. So yes, we have invested in the tools to make that simple. The next dish we're making is a really simple Buddha bowl. We're going to steam. I've got my uh, steamer pot going here. Let's put it over here so you can see it better. And this is just my little, uh, you know, you can recess the steamer, but any way that you like to steam on the stove will work. It's only going to take a few minutes of steaming. Oh, I'm on the wrong camera. Sorry, Here's I just the steamer. noticed too. <laughs> Sorry, this is the steamer pot. The, I have the one that just sits in the pot. This is my, uh, this set of dishes. These are not dishes. These are pots and pans are from Costco. <laughs> this is the Kirkland Signature stainless steel set. I've had them since 2015 when I moved into this house and uh, there's not a mark on them. They're fantastic. You can't go wrong and it's like the cheapest set out there. I love it. I have an induction stove and they work just so good. Okay, this is what you want. You've, you've, you this already is saw what this. You this, is, this time this is the correct camera angle. So I like both of these. Uh, this one I've seen at Kroger, Fry's, and at Winco. This one is the Winco brand, as you can see right here by the logo. But essentially it's a mix that has beans, corn, black beans, corn, bell peppers, and onions. And it's, I, when the first time I saw it was only a few weeks ago. I had no idea this even existed. And I was like, dang, that is an awesome mix. It's got the veggies, the starches. I can make a 10 minute meal out of that, believe you me. So let's get started. And we are gonna see how I throw this together. Reeves, all of the things that go in it. Okay, yes, I remember now. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's go to the stove. I'm gonna take, so grab your favorite spice blends. Again, this is a blank canvas, just like our upcoming show is going to be on. Any of your favorite no salt spices, the ones I'm going to use are our chili lime and our Fiesta Fire Blend. They're the, so we're going to make this kind of a Latin thing. I'm going to whip up a quick pico to top it with. You'll see it's just really, really good. Um, okay, let's do it. Oh. <laughs> are you ready to start your, your timers, everybody? Let yeah. me know if I hold true to the time. Yeah. Okay. So the steamer basket's going. I've got the water hot. Let me grab my scissor, and here's what I'm going to do. Everything's just going to go together. I don't need a separate, uh, you know, thing for uh, my whole bowl is just going to be mixed together. I'm going to take this whole thing and throw it right into the steamer basket. Then I'm going to take this is a, a bag of frozen rice. Uh, you can get frozen rice at probably also Kroger. Trader Joe's has a couple of different brown rice. This is the brown rice medley from Trader Joe's. Uh, it's in a steamer bag, so you can heat this up in the microwave. In our case, we're just going to open the bag, dump it right in. Oh, before I dump it in, I'm going to start throwing in a little bit of flavoring. So I'm going to just sprinkle in a teaspoon or so of chili lime. And we're going to mix it all together after it's had a chance to steam. Here's our fiesta. Throw that in. This is like the two best Mexican Whoa, spice blends ever. I didn't know that you just ever. pour the spice blend right oh, into the heck steamer yeah. basket. So then I put the rice in, then I'm going to put a little bit more. Oh. I always have him make this meal for me. I've never actually seen that it's this easy. Oh yeah, you just throw everything into the, into the tank here, crank the heat, put the lid on. Once everything's hot, boom, you're done. While it's heating up, I don't need to go high. I'll just put it on medium high. While that's going, I'm going to put this so this was the two brands. I showed you the two brands. You, this is Bird's Eye. Winco had the other one. I'll bet there are other stores that make it too. Yeah. Um, but this CW Bird's Eye thing is usually at a lot. That brand I see a lot of places. Mm -hmm. So if they don't have it at your store, go to the manager and be like, hey, there's this thing I want. You guys don't have it. And they <laughs> are often receptive to that stuff. I've heard. <laughs> Excuse me. Someone was asking for the tambourine. Uh, give them a little shake. We do shake for super, super chats. If you want. Well, I'm going to shake for this one. John and Ronnie said, this is my favorite episode so far, and that's saying a lot. I love these. Episodes. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to cry and shake my table. Well, I have cried before. These bowls are stuck together. Okay. You've cried so, in your li just in your lifetime? No, with people saying how much they like the show. We get a lot of emails after the show of people praising the show, you know. I know. <laughs> okay. I'm just giving you a hard time because you're usually uh, accused of being so dry. Dry schmai. Let's make sure we still sound good. Do I still sound good? Yeah, we still sound good. 
Okay, we're gonna whip up a pico de gallo, a little pico, simple, simple ingredients. While that's steaming, I can do this whole thing. It's just a couple of things. You know, I used to make pico in these monster batches, and people are like, it's, it's intimidating when you see it for the first time in such a big batch, but this is, this is way more onion than I'm you know actually what? gonna need, Dilly, by the way. Yeah, you used, your old YouTube videos, you're like, hi, I'm making enough food for 17 people today. Well, I like to make it big, and then I would literally just eat another 10-minute meal, would just be to put a, one can of black beans on the stove, juice and all, mm -hmm. and then I'd top it with like two cups of pico. And that's my whole meal, you nothing know what? else. Oh, I'll put some cumin in the black beans or something like that. Now, of course, that we have our spice ones, I'd use those, but same idea. The clock's ticking, I'm gonna keep going. Keep Get to talking, chopping, Reeves. I'm gonna tell people about your life instead of mine. Okay. Because remember I was, you went, you went plant-based while you were still doing solar. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Dylan, when, when you're still eating unhealthy vegan, what did you see eat for lunch? And you were like, oh, I used to go through the drive-thru and get a bean burrito. Yeah, it was like, when I was unhealthy vegan. I'm like, then when you went healthy vegan, what did you, wh like, you know, how did you carry it to work? Because mm -hmm. you don't have, like, access to a microwave or something. You're, like, literally outside. Whoa, oh boy. Yeah, that's a really good hack is uh, thermoses. You get one of those uh, nice big thermoses. They have a soup thermos with a wide mouth. They have uh, you know, lots of different sizes. I would come in the morning at 4 a.m. I would heat up the beans on the stove. I would preheat the soup thermos. So you put like boiling, I gotta keep chopping. So you put <laughs> boiling water into your soup thermos while your beans are heating up on the stove. Then you dump out the boiling water and then you put your hot beans in and it'll stay hot until dinner time, I swear. And uh, then I'd have hot beans. Again, I'd put a couple of, I'd put our spice blends in there would be the best way. But this is before Well Your World. Um, so I didn't have any of that. So I just used like cumin and turmeric or something like that. And then uh, I'd have the pico in the, so I'd have, what comes with the thermos is you can get those insulated hard construction lunch boxes oh, too. The ones that last like forever. Oh, definitely. And uh, you can just put a little Tupperware container of pico with a little ice pack in there. Then I just mix together. So you right into the lid of the thermos, you can put your beans, then you top it with pico. And I did that, I literally did that every day when I was started getting healthy because I didn't have enough ideas yet. I found one and I just stuck with it because I knew I'd be successful. I don't care if it got old or boring, I can make a more exciting dinner. Uh, if I need if I need some more variety, but every day that's what I ate at hey, lunch. Can yes. you, oh, 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 Diane, oh. thank you very much wait, for the wait. super chat. Yes. Wait for me to do this part first. <laughs> but I was gonna say, slow down when you do that tomato because somebody's like, "Whoa, I never saw you can cut a tomato." That oh, way. okay. So this is a Roma tomato trick. Thank you for asking. I hadn't uh, thought of that. Let's get closer. So I take and cut the top off. Boom. Flip it. Cut the bottom off, boom. This only really works with aroma because it has a core like this. And I like to get the core out because the core makes the pico much more liquidy. And I'm going for something else. So then you cut in and you're just gonna sort of pull the, this is kind of like how I cut a bell pepper. And you just pull the tomato, you round it out and you get this core out. And this core is juicy, it's, it's delicious, but it's juicy and it's got all the seeds in there. The seeds are a little bitter, but you don't really chew the seeds, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and then you cut the, that into strips. This is like the meat of the tomato, right? And now you got a nice dry, we want our liquid in our pico to be from the lime juice because that's what's gonna give it that really nice Mexican flavor. And then these cores, I make, I would used to, uh, I used to do like 100 pounds of tomatoes at a time and I would core and make these into tomato sauce because yeah. on the stove these become perfect and then you can mill out the seeds and. I have a whole video on that on YouTube. These are, those are like the early years of Well Your World. And then you've got the top and the bottom. So I'll just cut the, the bottom. There's really no waste here. And then you got the top. You want to get the centerpiece out of the top, obviously. So you cut there, you cut there, pull it out, flip these, cut here. Now you got that diced up. And then you got your center and you can go on either side and you've got your little piece of core. And that Dylan is the only thing. no part of the tomato. Yeah, that is the only thing that I'm going to dispose of. But you can also save this and make really tasty veggie stock. Um, that's another hack. Everything's steamed up by now, by the way. We've been, you know, shooting the you know what here <laughs> and just hanging out. Uh, same way that I do this, 
jalapeno that you're coring the seeds out. This is the really hot part and it's not that flavorful. So I'll just cut that core out. This is one jalapeno. You can use a mild pepper. This is probably my favorite salsa topping. I don't know what to call it. Uh, Nancy, thank you. That's very generous. Wow. The super chat's coming in. Y'all are very nice. Gotta get Big Brother Broccoli out for that one. Oh boy. Uh, Thanks, and then I'm just cutting Nick this jalapeno into these nice little strips. Boom, boom. And then turn them all. And assuming your knife is sharp, I can do this all in one go. I sharpened my knife before the show. It took me about three minutes and this knife is so dang sharp. <laughs> Marina says, I'm three weeks short of eight. Oh, hold on, hold on Marina. Wow, another one. Thank you all for the super chats. Oh, wow, fellow I didn't Arizonians. See that. Old, old Pueblo vegan. That's such a great name. I love that. What were you going to say, Reeves? Um, Marina says, I'm just three weeks short of 80, and just this year I learned from Dylan how to cut a pepper and a tomato. Game changer. Never too old to learn new tricks. Oh, I love it. That's great. Congratulations. No, it is never too late to feel awesome. Uh, it's incredible how fast that eating healthy food can make you feel literally completely different. Believe me, if we could all just eat the most flavorful food in the world and feel well all our lives, we would do it. But you can't. This is way too much onion. I saw I only need just a little handful of onion here. And then let's throw in, let me put this aside. We'll just put it right on the tray. And now what's not traditional about my pico is that I like to put garlic in it. You know, we're not using a bunch of salt. So I'll throw in a good tablespoon or so of minced garlic. Let's come over here and grab a little handful of cilantro. This is fresh cilantro. It would also be delicious with basil if you wanted to try it. Uh, this is, you know, nothing, nothing that makes it have to be cilantro. I know some people out there just don't like cilantro. And I'm just going to kind of rough chop this. Boom. We got a little handful of cilantro in the tank. And then we just need to squeeze in some lime and we've got a pico. And so while everything's steaming on the stove, we've got enough time and to keep it to 10 minutes while still making a little a fresh pico easy easy these are ingredients that i've always got in the fridge so it can be done very quickly well they do susanna says uh for us newbies here does dylan have a cooking background oh no i mean i grew up in a family where my mom always cooked scratch meals for us and i was always curious about it because how can you make things taste good with just a knife and a cutting board? That's interesting because everybody else, you know, you go to school lunches and they're like nothing like the way I would eat at home, but I still ate them because they were really rich and addictive, but I'd come home and we'd eat healthy, wholesome meals. They weren't, uh, they weren't vegan, but they were with at least, you know, real, real and ing food ingredients, not a bunch of fast food and junk. Um, and now since then I've, eliminated the animal products and the oil. But no, I didn't have a cooking background. I just got in the kitchen, watched some YouTube videos, learned how to chop just by watching YouTube free videos with Jacques Pepin or whoever. <laughs> and uh, boom, you know how to cook. You, you, don't know, you don't know how to cook from them, but you know how to prepare ingredients from them. You know, Rebecca, you used to work at the grocery store scanning people's produce. And how old were you when you still didn't even know what a zucchini was? Um, probably 20, yeah, 20 years old. And I started working at the grocery store and I ate like so standard American, like it's embarrassing, you guys. Like people would come through the line. I remember this lady was buying so many collards and I, you know, you don't know what the produce is so you have to ask them what it is to be able to type it in and then you're embarrassed and you're like, there's a whole <laughs> world of produce out here. What's a zucchini? What's collard greens? Man, things have changed. <laughs> Congratulations. I asked somebody one time what they were going to do with all their collard greens and they just laughed at me. <laughs> we're not going to laugh at anybody you, here. <laughs> you don't realize it though. Like sometimes you think people are joking because we use these things every day and we take for granted some of that. Right. And you don't realize there are people out there that just, they don't even know that, 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 that potatoes come out of the ground. Right. Um, so it's, it can be kind of crazy. Okay. Are you ready to put this together? Oh, we need a little bit of lettuce. Y'all, we've been hanging out here, but I, you can see that this is clearly a 10 minute meal. Let me, I'm going <laughs> to use the rest of this butter, this bib lettuce. Butter lettuce, bib lettuce. Whoops. Mm, that was a slam. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let's build a bowl. Somebody do you want to build this bowl or do you want me to? I oh, want I'm you to do it. This. 
Somebody was asking how you can sharpen your knives if you don't want to do the whetstone method because it's kind of intimidating. Yeah, you can just get a, a regular knife sharpener and that'll work fine. The ones it's where you like drag through or whatever. You drag it through. It'll sharpen your knives. You're going to have to do it more often. Like the whetstone, I literally, if your knife's relatively new, you don't have to do it but every couple of months. Um, so it's, it's, but you'll be fine using the dragger thing, the cheap tool and it'll get the job done. And use a cheap knife. If, if anything's intimidating, do it on the cheap first. Do it on the cheap, save your money, figure out what you like to do and what would be annoying for you, and then switch it up, <laughs> invest more when you're actually ready. Let's check out the stove. Look at this beautiful thing here. And now I'm literally gonna do, oh, but it's all gonna fall through. No, it's not. Give it a stir in your steamer basket like this. All that flavor now all that rice, all the starch, the corn, the beans, we got the peppers and onions already in here. And all we did was throw it in the steamer basket and boom. And I went way longer than I needed to. And you can see nothing fell out into the pot. We're still just ready to rock and roll. So let's take this over and we'll make a bowl. <laughs> Somebody said their husband did not know that you can't eat the edamame shells. Okay, that's an oops. <laughs> that's, that's, that's an daisies. <laughs> that would make for not a very flavorful edamame experience. We'll be using shelled edamame here in a few minutes. So I'm just going to chop some lettuce. We love this with that a little bit of crunch. So just take and you can put the lettuce to the side. You can put the lettuce in the bottom. I like everything sort of piled on. I'm going to do a little bit more. You can buy uh, your romaine lettuce. You can uh, already ready to go. You could steam some kale and get your greens that way if you don't like the raw greens. Um, they have bags of frozen kale that you could throw in right with this in the steamer basket. You could have put a bag of frozen kale in and that would have all steamed together, mixed together. Boom, just throw the pico on top. Oh my God. Okay, ready, Reeves? Heck yeah. This so is my favorite. We've got our lettuce. Boom, spoon on this. It's already got some Mexican spices in it. That's a lot. It took two minutes to produce all this. And then let me get this. By the way, the pico, if you let the pico sit for a few minutes and just keep tossing it in the lemon juice, it'll marinate really nicely too and bring out a lot of flavor. We don't have time for that. These are 10 minute meals. And then just scoop on a little bit of pico. And would you ever know that this came from frozen ingredients? This is the most fresh. Beautiful meal, starchy, but also super light. Reeves, would you like to come taste this with me or what? It is your favorite after all. Yeah. And that is our third 10 minute meal. And we're going long today. <laughs> you go first. Well, we don't usually do five. No, we usually do three recipes you plus our hangout time. Well, and you it's forgot. about 90 minutes. You forgot my avocado. Oh, the avocado. That doesn't go with the. Uh, Wrap, I we guess. Have we have more than one we avocado. Do. We do. We have a couple of bags <laughs> worth, actually. Wait. Just kidding. Go ahead. Let's, I'll, I'll throw on some avocado wait. so people can see it. Let's dice this this way, too. This is so, so good. It's the lime juice. Mm -hmm. It's the lime juice and the cilantro, you know? Just a couple of touches of freshness. Hold that under the camera. Can really, like, jazz up your freezer meal. <laughs> there we go. Get a little avocado on there. Now you're all dressed up. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. It's so easy. It's just like, why can't they do this in restaurants? You know? Uh, because nobody but us wants it. <laughs> you know? That is so good. So good. The greens, it's crunchy, it's fresh, it's you know? Starchy and filling. Mm. Who was I just watching? Oh, I think I was watching Tammy and Tom. Mm. And they just buy the pico from Trader Joe's. Of course, it has a little bit of salt, but you can always do that if you don't want to make it from scratch. Do we have a visitor for intermission? Ooh. Come on in. Who could it be? It's like, <laughs> ding dong, Mr. McFeely's here. Here's <laughs> Grandma Michelle Aww. and little Luca. Hi, everybody. Luca is, what, two months and a week now? Isn't he big? Look how Look tall how he is. Look how tall he is, this string bean. 
how big he is. He, Say you, hi to you, everybody. You brought him out because he was actually calm right He's now? He's calm. <laughs> <laughs> he made me sit outside guy. with him for like 25 minutes in the heat. Oh, he he loves, loves it out there. He does outside, love it. But it's hot like, out. Yeah. Like, you are not my son. Aw, <laughs> let me show him on the moves cam. Okay. <laughs> Good, I'm going to eat more while you guys hang out for a second. Say hi to everybody. Say hi, Internet. Look at these long legs. <laughs> Dylan's just like downing the food. Mm. All right, y'all. What? What? Let's get back to work. Oh. Hand that baby Kiss off. your son. Hi, baby boy. That's what makes him cry, because I give him 20 kisses at once. It's the rough beard. The rough, Say the bye. rough cut beard. Bye, mom and dad. Thanks for the visit. OK. Can I take this? Yeah, you can take it. Yes. Don't you chomp too much in the, in the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next we are going to make a really simple ramen with those rice noodles. I'll set all this aside. Man, we are going to have so much to eat today. I'm like very excited about it. <laughs> Marlo's like, hi, Luca. Yes, big. Okay. <sighs> what, do you think of the, what do you think of the meals so far? What's what? everybody got to say? Any, what do you guys have to say about the meals? We're, we're done with Luca now. <laughs> tell, tell me about the meals. Okay, let's get that one. We're done. So ramen time. What do I need for ramen time? Let's get this hot. I'm going to start heating some water. I've got a pot of water on the stove. I'll explain. Kathy said that she noticed a bunch of new members in the Facebook group, so thanks for joining us. Yes, wonderful. Okay, I'm over, whoops, that's the cutting board. On the stove, I just have a pot of water. This is a bigger pot of water than what I'm actually going to need for the amount of noodles I'm going to make, but we're going to add things to it. That's the trick with this 10-minute meal. I've been doing this for a while, this little style of cooking uh, really fast. Um, you can... We're going to make a really simple ramen, and we're going to use some what? Nothing. I'm just excited. You're just excited. And we're going to add some frozen items to the water that are going to cook with the, at the end of the noodles. So we're going to like do this little in stages thing, and it's a really handy little hack for cooking. We, we talked about it a, a little on our hacks video. Anyway, here we go. To start with, I'm going to throw in two of the little patties. This is how those rice... Uh, ramen noodle packs come. So and boom, start your squares. timer. They take like uh, seven, eight minutes in there. And what happens when they start to soften, I just take a fork and I start to break them up so that I'm, I'm sort of just helping the process along. So keep your water hot. Let those go. Let's come over here. We're going to make a peanut sauce while that's going because we've got a few minutes before. The other nice thing about these noodles is they really don't overcook. So if you go too long, mm. they don't get all mushy. Like, um, what noodles would do that? I mean, any kind of whole wheat noodles. Well, usually be, those are rice. Usually the rice noodles do. The regular white rice noodles. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So while that's going, I will set a timer because I want to sort of keep to my my sit my method. So I usually set the timer for like five minutes. And now let's make a little peanut sauce. This is something that you don't have to make right now as part of your 10 minute meal, but you can make this in big batches too. And it's really simple. I need a spatch. Yeah, somebody's talking about, we love, like for pasta, we love the lentil pasta. Mm -hmm. The lentil or the, or the chickpea. chickpea pasta is really good. Okay, so you got options here. This is, I'm, I'm gonna show you the version with peanut butter. Let me lay, let me lay all this stuff out for you. This only takes a second, because once it's in the blender, you just blend and you're done. And a little bit of water and some rice vinegar. So here's the sauce. It's got peanut butter. I'm using like a third of a cup of peanut butter for this, but you could also use that PB2 stuff. Try to find the one that doesn't have the added salt or uh, sugar. A lot of them have added sugar. Why? Uh, try to, there is a brand that Tammy showed us that doesn't have that. Yeah. Um, but you can use a quarter cup of the, the powder and a quarter cup of water equals about a third of a cup 
uh, of peanut butter for this recipe. So I'm gonna actually throw in some rice vinegar first. Rice vinegar gives it that nice Asian uh, flavor without using a bunch of like soy sauce to mm -hmm. get your to get that characteristic Asian flavor. You can use, you know, if, if you're eating a little bit of salt in your diet and you're not trying to control uh, your blood pressure and everything's already in order, um, or you don't have like a portion control sort of problem, then, you know, this is a bit of a richer, a bit of a richer sauce, but it can be modified. The PB2 is a good way to do it, especially if you can keep the salt out. I am gonna use a little bit of miso paste in lieu of the soy sauce. It's still salty. I've got like a tablespoon you can use or just omit it. It is not needed. Like I say, these can be made easily SOS free. Here we've got some ginger, here's some fresh ginger and garlic. Uh, we'll throw that in. Vanessa says, can you do cashew butter? Oh, I'm sure you could. Yeah, you could do almond butter. A couple of dates just to give it a little bit of sweetness. These are the deglet dates, so they're smaller. You could probably just use one medjool date. A little bit of crushed red pepper is optional if you want. And then I really love a green onion in this. Let's cut the bottom off. And then I just kind of help the blender along a little bit and I'll chop it into smaller pieces. Throw that in the tank. And then let's squeeze a whole lime in here. This is a pretty small lime. Sometimes I just do like a half a lime. Depends how limey you like it. Where is my squeezer? Oh, let's and go how over. Juicy your limes are too. Let's go over here and do what I was telling you. So I'm going to take my fork and start. We're a couple minutes in, and it, they start to soften. And you can just start to sort of separate them apart a little, and that just helps them cook a little bit more consistently. That peanut butter is called. It's the PB2 brand, but it's called PB2 Pure. Okay. Oh, it is still the same brand. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I'm sure other brands make it too. Mm -hmm. I don't use that stuff much. Uh, well, I don't really use peanut butter that much. So, you know, I don't like that some stuff's been removed, but I admit that what's been removed doesn't make it the product any less healthy. Yeah, yesterday on the show, so. Chef AJ had some like reduced fat coconut shreds, right? Yeah, so there you go. And it's probably just pressed and they pressed some of the oil out. Like mm -hmm. it's not like you're processing the food and eliminating things. I like to keep things as minimally processed as possible. Okay, so we're gonna need just a little bit of water with this too. And I just add a little bit at a time because I don't want it to be too watery. And let's just give it a buzz, ready? I always make that mistake, putting too much water in. Just like maybe a quarter cup of water. And just let it get real nice and smooth and then you got a sauce and then we'll go back to the stove we're going to use some shredded carrots i'll just open this okay here the texture is like really good I added the right amount of water so it's still thick, but you know, not too thick or not too watery. So that's gonna be great. Okay, let's clean up a tiny bit. We got time, we got time. <laughs> it's a 10 minute meal. What about your other ingredients? Oh, they're coming. Yes. Yeah, one time I tried to make a peanut sauce and I like started out with like a gallon of water and then I kept like adding more ingredients and I had to scrap the whole thing and I'm like this is why Dylan cooks for me <laughs> okay y'all here are the three things we're gonna throw in the pasta water just beeped so it's got a couple more minutes left of of the noodles actually till they get cooked let me get rid of this stuff and now is when I start tossing in some frozen items to make a really tasty toss little stir fry that doesn't even need to actually be sauteed so we're gonna throw in some frozen broccoli, not this whole thing, obviously. Some frozen shelled edamame, and this is the a triple pepper blend of green, red, and, and uh, yellow bell pepper from Trader Joe's that we really like. And what's They're it kind of a longer cut, melange à trois. Get it? So let's open these bags up, and we'll just this throw is scandalous. in. Remember, we use two little noodle patties, so that's like. A bowl. So you want to put in what you would consider a, a reasonable amount to match that. Uh, thank you very much, Grandma Gigi, for the super chat. Grandma That's very Gigi. generous. 
So I'll just open these bags and then we're just gonna add as much as you would put in a nice big bowl of stir fry that you'll eat. So like a single serving or whatever. So let's go over to the stove and rock and roll. Everything's boiling nicely here. We'll throw in some broccoli. That's probably way plenty. We'll throw in some of the peppers. So you've got enough here. Keep the heat on high now because we want to keep it hot. Throw in some peppers. And then we got the edamame. Throw in some edamame, you know, a half a cup, whatever. I love this method. And then we're just going to, now the noodles are keep cooking and everything else is going to thaw and get just right. Let me get a little spoon here. Ooh, Barbara said, what about adding frozen mushrooms? Frozen mushrooms would be great. I was just thinking about that before the show. And you can kind of start to see, do I have enough in here? Do I want to put a little more? Uh, and you're just going to eyeball it. There's a little more of that. Let's throw in a little bit more of the peppers and a little bit more of the broccoli. Of course, you could do a steamer basket with all of these items too, but you've already got the pot of water going. Why not just start with a little extra water and do it all in the same pot? And then we're going to strain it and toss it with our peanut sauce. What a groundbreaking method. Am I wrong, Reese? It is groundbreaking. <laughs> okay. Somebody said, Trader Joe's discontinued the brown rice medley. Where do you get the radish seeds? Well, they do this. They say that it's discontinued, and then it's back, and then it's discontinued. At our store at this time, they do have the brown rice medley. Mm -hmm. uh, do you mean the bagged one or the frozen one? I think the bagged one. The bagged one. I, I haven't mean, the looked for that. Seeds are I have a bunch radish of radish seeds. seed because of when I did microgreens and I was selling uh, radish uh, microgreens, but uh, where you would get them as a regular consumer, I'm not quite sure. Can you take this? Do you have a moment or no? Yeah, sure. Why? Anonymous was asking, will uh -huh. the recipes be available later? Uh, Can you touch if you go ahead and sign up for our free trial, here are the deets for the free trial. There's a link down below, wellyourworld.com slash free trial. The recipes are going to go to anyone who's on our email list for our membership. So if you haven't signed up for the free trial, or you're not a member, then you're not going to get the recipes. You, you're getting this video because we're feeling generous and putting it on YouTube, but you got to sign up if you want the recipes. Mm -hmm. They'll come out in a few hours. We send out the recipes after the show. Okay, so check it. Everything's looking good over here. It's not b boiling because we did put some frozen stuff, but I assure you, if I grab a piece of this broccoli, let me have a little bite. <laughs> it's coming along. Just give it another minute. Mm. Bondi says, I've been doing that veggies in the noodle trick for a while since I saw Dylan do it in one of his cooking videos. Yes. Okay. Now we're that's just going to strain it out and I'm going to put it in this bowl and we're going to toss it with some sauce, okay? That's how we do it in our mac and cheese. Yes. Peas, please. Peas, please in that in mac, mac and, and cheese. cheese. Or shelled edamame. We do like the shelled edamame in our mac and cheese. So we'll yep. cook the noodles. We usually, the brand we really like, uh, Reeves does keep it gluten free. So the one we love is this red lentil rotini it's from, from Barilla. Barilla. And there you have it. So that makes a really nice mac and cheese. These noodles also just don't overcook. You can cook them in the instant pot and they won't even turn mus mushy like a whole wheat noodle will. Um, so we love that. And then we'll throw in the peas into the pot. Sometimes I'll throw in chopped mushrooms into the tank because it's nice to cook the mushrooms just a little bit. It brings out all of the flavor and the texture I love in the mushrooms. And then you just add our cheese sauce mix. We sell it online. Get 10% off, by the way, if you're uh, a member, even on the free trial. Uh, try out our cheese sauce mix. It's by far our most popular product still. Yeah. So, and the first product I ever made. <laughs> okay, let's strain. I'm just going to grab this off the stove, strain it, and we'll be right back. Reeves, what else they got to say? Oh, someone's saying, did you forget the carrots? He hasn't forgotten. No, we're going to leave the carrots raw. We don't need to boil the carrots. Because they're sh shredded, if you wanted to use the little uh, dollar carrots that are sort of sliced, like thin little slices, that's, um, you could throw those into the water, mm -hmm. but here you have it. We've got, I've strained everything out. There it is. Ooh. Now, Gosh, I love broccoli. Raw, steamed, broccoli's the best. Well, it's really good this way, too. And I'm just going to drizzle in some of our sauce. Let me get another spoon and we'll toss this. And then, you know, I, I add the sauce just a little bit at a time. Reeves likes it really saucy. I'm like a little bit less of a sauce 
Uh, oh yeah, I extremist. like it just drowned in sauce so I can drink the bottom of the plate. But this is enough for probably two servings like this for me. <laughs> and then boom, oh, it smells so good. It kind of, you can smell it just warm in that peanut butter. And now let's put this in a bowl. Oh, let's sprinkle in our, let's do our carrots now. So throw in the carrots. Heck yeah. That's pretty good. Now we got all kinds of color going on in here. I would say if you're making the sauce, why not make a huge batch of the sauce? Then you have it all week long. So you can do this part or you can use it as a salad dressing. Yeah, it makes a really nice salad dressing as well. Okay. Let's get a bowl. This one I do use these nice big, uh, big bowls. It's like a ramen bowl. Mm -hmm. For your rice ramen noodles. Now this is, I made a big portion because I used two noodle patties. Like you can use just one of the little blocks of noodles. This is, a, this is my lunch. I, I will eat all that very easily. Yes, Why don't you put some sesame seeds on it? That's next. You could also, uh, chop up a green onion. If you want to add a little fresh green onion on top. Some cilantro. Some cilantro. I'm going to sprinkle on just a little bit of those same black sesame seeds. Make it really pretty. Now, if you got that in a restaurant, you're never going to know. You're never going to know. It's frozen. Mm. Boom. You got a 10 minute meal right there. Wow. Yum. You want to come taste it? Another P.F. Chang delight. <laughs> you tasting this one, Reeves, or what? Heck yeah. I saved our, our favorite new one for last, our fifth recipe. This, this hamburger wrap she invented, Ooh. it's crazy. Look how fancy. Did I show it up close? Look at that beautiful Ooh, I can smell ramen it. bowl. Mm -mm -mm. These noodles, the texture, they're just like the best noodle. I don't know how they figured it out. I gotta get a piece of broccoli in my bite. It should still have a little crunch to it. Oh, you did put the melange à in here. Mm -hmm. Everybody, oops, I totally missed your taste. I was on the wrong camera, sorry. I swear it's in my mouth. <laughs> it's so good, you guys. Did I put enough sauce on? Not it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> but probably perfect for you. Mm, I didn't get the veggies in that bite. I mean, there's no better lunch. There's Hey, Other than the three we did before that. What about if you're traveling and you're in a hotel? Some of these meals would be mm. great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, a lot of people love to go to Trader Joe's for their stuff. If you got a little fridge and some way to heat. Mm -hmm. Bring the little induction burner that you can plug in. When but we travel by car, it's very easy. Yeah. If you were flying, it would be a little trickier. Right. But when we're tra car traveling, we'll take an instant pot and melt. That's like the only time I'll use the saute function. Mm. Um, or you can take a burner and and take a pot. This is this is a winner. So delicious. And that's not very much peanut butter. I didn't even use all the sauce in this whole entire bowl. Right. So it's not like you're eating a glob of peanut butter. Most people butter. can't eat this whole entire bowl. No. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Dylan can. Mm. Every time you make me a plate of food, I'm like, that's just that's too much. It's because you want my leftovers. People loving this one. Yes, they are lotus. Th these, are, is this also lotus? Yes, this is lotus. They make a few different types of noodle. They have a black rice noodle. Um, they have like a Vietnamese style noodle. That one, the texture, they didn't nail as good as this one. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite and is obviously the most popular, which is why it's sold at Costco. But yeah, pick those up. They're, they're really worth a shot. Sometimes I'll just literally boil those and make a little Asian broth with a few spices, some tofu and mushrooms, and that's another 10 minute meal. What? I'm just like chowing down. It's Get out of here, take <laughs> it. Take but it you could have added some blocks of tofu in here too. Yeah, we could have easily thrown some tofu in the boil water as well. In the boil water. Uh, you know, any, anything. <laughs> Th these are all blank. All of our recipes are, I feel like are blank canvas type recipes or you can just Run with it. Give us that mm. dance. Give us that kick. All right. Bye. It's so good. Later. I have like all three dishes by my station. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. Are you ready for the main event? This wrap is so good. 
Let's set all this aside. We've made quite a mess. Doing five meals is a little messier. <laughs> I'm going to clean up just a little bit. Just a little cleanup. How's everybody doing in the chat box, Reeves? Kaboom people's um, Costco doesn't carry the noodles. Again, <laughs> ask. You can buy them online, though. You can buy them at, uh, at a lot of grocery stores. It's just going to be smaller packs, oh. fewer patties. But you, they are not only found at Costco. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Some people are like, yeah, I could definitely eat that whole bowl. <laughs> I'm going to save the rest of this sauce because I'm going to need this blender canister. Ooh, Marlon says, pour that peanut sauce over a bag of coleslaw. Yum. It's that simple. It's that simple. Try to get some starch in so that you stay full and satisfied. You don't want to be hungry. Uh, so even if it's the next stage after the coleslaw bit, try to get some starch in so that you're good and full. Reeves, talk a minute while I rinse this thing. Someone said, I'm planning my next week's meals around the five you made today. I can't wait. <laughs> awesome. I'm salivating. I got to wear a bib next time I watch. <laughs> <laughs> you and the baby both. Everybody complains, oh, I wish I could taste the meals. That's my biggest complaint of this show. And yesterday, AJ was making those rest, uh, desserts, and I was like, well, I know what that feels like now. Oh, someone's like, what about those buckwheat soba noodles? Oh, I've, yeah, those are pretty good. I, we can get those at our Asian market. Actually, those you can find, they're, they're the long straight ones, and they're kind of flat usually. Our Asian mm -hmm. market has like 35 different versions of them. Yeah, and like a whole wall of them, and you're like, what? They're pretty good. They, they, they do have some that are not salty too. Some of them are really salty and then some you pick it up and there's like barely, barely any salt. So it's mm -hmm. kind of cool. Okay, let's get that out of the way and let's make this wrap. This wrap, we're gonna play with a little sauce as well. We've done four already? We've done four. Name them off again. We did the chowder to start with. Oh yeah, I got We did that the lettuce one. cups. Oh, that's what I don't have in front of me is the lettuce cup. We did the Winco meal. Mm -hmm. The <laughs> we gotta go to give it a different name. That's a dumb Can we name. rename the Winco meal? And then we did the ramen. And now we're gonna do the wrap. Heck yeah. Super, super simple wrap. Here, let's, wanna just start with the sauce? Let's start with the sauce. Oh, we got a super chat, blind guy, his wife, their life. Thank you very much for uh, the super chat and the support. It says Reeves, eat extra for the baby. Here we have, let me set this stuff out for you so you can see it. Eat extra for the baby, yeah, he loves it. He's a happy boy. Um, the lemon is in the sauce. The tomatoes are not in the sauce. Everything is good here. I actually have it written down. Okay, I have here a half a cup of cashews, raw cashews that I've just been soaking in a half a cup of water. Dylan, if you're, yes ma'am. There's a noodle on your cutting board and it's bothering me. Oh gosh, thank you for letting me know. That it's, is, it's quite embarrassing. Yeah, that was pathetic. <laughs> there's a drip of peanut sauce there too, not anymore. People want to see that, uh, the ramen real quick. The bag? Yeah. Okay. No, don't start the clock yet. There you go. They so get, the you said brand, it's Lotus Foods. Here, get the focus. Lotus, oh, there it is. Lotus Foods <laughs> is the brand. They put the brand down low, whatever. Organic millet and brown rice ramen noodles. And the ingredients are literally organic brown rice flour, organic millet, millet flour, and that's it. So really awesome product. I hope that our Costco never stops selling them. But that's why I always, every because Costco does that. So I'll always have six bags in stock. So you think, oh, you go through one, you got five more, take your time. No, I always keep them and I'll just rotate them because I don't ever want to have to run out of them. I love them. Okay, half a cup of cashews, half a cup of water. If you have a Vitamix, you don't have to soak it. Um, but it will make for a creamier dressing uh, most what of the time. What are you making? We are making a Thousand Island dressing that Reeves invented literally last night. <laughs> We're going to throw in about, what do you have here? A quarter cup or a half a cup? Quarter, quarter cup, cup of ketchup. So I'm just going to eyeball that. A uh, quarter cup of our Well Your World ketchup going into the tank. Then we have some paprika. Throw that in there. We have some of our nutritional yeast again. This is the Well Your World nutritional yeast. You can use any, but ours is the best and the most affordable. Uh, then we're going to take a little bit of your favorite mustard, like a teaspoon's worth of mustard. Everyone's mm -hmm. favorite is the West Bray. Yeah, this is the West Bray uh, mustard. It looks like that. I don't have an SOS free mustard 
for sale yet, but this is the one. You can buy this on Amazon in like a six or a 12 pack, I can't remember, but that's what we do. It's like the cheapest to do it that way. And then put in a little bit of that mustard. Again, I'm gonna chop a green onion. I love a simple green onion and so many of these sauces, but this one was Reeves's idea. Throw that in there. And then we're gonna use, what do you think, a half a lemon or the whole lemon? Um, I always use, I always use more. Okay, <laughs> let's use the whole lemon. I love lemon. I don't think you're gonna screw it up with too much lemon ever. I'm gonna throw in a little more ketchup. Heck yeah. I didn't know if I should call this Thousand Island or Big Mac sauce, and I thought Big Mac sauce would be offensive. Here we go. <laughs> my lid is gone. Oh, I gotta rinse my lid. Reeves, be entertained. Okay. Back to you, Reeves. Oh, so I've seen a couple people in the chat say, like that they didn't get the July challenge PDF, for example. If ever you're missing something or you can't find your link or there's something wrong with your package you received, you can always email Dylan. It's hello at wellyourworld.com. It goes directly to Dylan and he emails back right away. Uh, I n we never miss an email. So you, it's, it's printed on every bottle. It's all over everything. Hello at wellyourworld.com <laughs> and you will get a response unless you're mean. Infinite Love and Gratitude is calling it McReeb Sauce. Ooh, the McReeb Sauce. I like that. Let's give it a buzz. Okay, now I'm going to get my potato masher out. So you can hear it just got like super creamy. And you can push down the edges if you want to uh, and get a little bit more. Some of the cashews is, at the beginning there you could hear it bouncing around a little bit. So we could, you know, get the rest cleaned out of here. This is a really handy tool. This is a uh, blender spatula and you can get grind around your lid. Didn't and they get, give you a, one at NHA? I think we did get a, a Vitamix handed out some spatulas. I do like this one better, I'm not going to lie. Kristen says, I've never had Thousand Island sauce. What does it taste like? Well, it Let tastes... <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I'm curious what you were going to say. It tastes like this. Yeah. Um, I don't think that most of anything that we make tastes like the real thing anyway, so it's just going to taste like what it tastes like. And if you don't yeah, I mean, like you, you can't recreate something that's as terrible for your health as that and expect it to sit, taste the same. Yeah, like we, somebody wrote in our, remember the TikTok feta mm -hmm. pasta? And they're like, the tofu doesn't taste like feta. Well, you don't say. <laughs> Give this another little spin around. Okay. Now, I have one can of kidney beans, rinse and drain. These are no salt added kidney beans. Try to find the no salt added stuff. It's gonna be the best for you. And then we're gonna use our Galaxy Dust no salt seasoning. This is our salt table blend. It's really nice to give a salty flavor at the table without salt and without all that fake potassium, this and that stuff. Any of your favorite spice blends will work fine. You don't have to use our products, but this one is the one that we're using for this. Just sprinkle on a little bit. This is our essentially, we're making a hamburger wrap. So this is our hamburger meat, okay? Obviously it does not taste like hamburger, y'all. Don't get carried away. And then just mash it, mash it, mash it. We just want a nice, a coarse texture, but not, you know, whole beans. So the smashing is a nice uh, little mod. Okay, and that's plenty, okay? Just takes a second. We'll get this. Off. We don't have time to make a bean burger. Yeah, this is a 10 minute meal. No, we're not making a bean burger. We're just using the beans. I was skeptical when Reeves came up with this idea. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, he really had good. zero confidence in me whatsoever. That, and then I, made I wouldn't him, quite say it that way, but okay. Then I made zero him a wrap confidence. and he looked me dead in the eye, straight face and said, will you make me three more? <laughs> Real life. <laughs> He's laughing, embarrassed, because it's true. 
Okay, we got some tomatoes. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I ate them, okay? So we've got some cherry <laughs> tomatoes here. Let's go to this screen. And I just cut them long, Let's turn it and cut it short, and we're just quartering the cherry tomatoes, okay? You can cut them any which way you please. This is a really long one, so I'll make a few cuts on this. I didn't even cut them that small when I did it, you guys. Okay. She already hates my method. <laughs> you want to come over here and cook? Heck. Reeves <laughs> will do a cooking show soon, and I'll be on the Reeves cam. I was thinking about doing the blank canvas what? episode. I don't know if you want to cook the tamale pie. I'll let you. Heck yeah. It'll only take one episode for you, you to guys realize see that me? I should be the one cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone unsubscribes <laughs> from the show. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> okay, we'll throw those back in there. Well, we've got two. We'll finish them. <laughs> okay, got a little of that. Now let's. I've got a few more things to chop. But you guys, mm -hmm. you're always saying, everyone's saying, oh, Dylan, he's like a chef. He's so fancy, this and that. No. If you want to see someone that actually can't cook at all, uh, AKA me, then maybe okay. you would enjoy watching me do a show. Now I'm chopping up something that is salty. These are pickles. You can just use cucumbers. I'm actually going to use both because I love a thick wrap. But these are, you know, this reminds me of a relishy flavor, but I don't want to use the relish that's got all that added sugar and garbage. At least these are only salty, but if you're avoiding salt altogether, simply leave the pickles out. You don't need them. Any which pickle, you wouldn't even have to chop it if you got the, uh, you know, the ones that are pre-cut. What are those called, Reeds? I don't even know. We don't need They're a lot like of pickles. They're called like bread and butter sandwich mm -hmm. pickles. These Why do they have such petite, a weird name? These are just petite dills. Whoops. Uh, how do you want your Petite onion? dills. We just <laughs> had one on the show. But I'm kind of a big dill. Oh, uh. <laughs> All right. A little onion. You can cut this any which way you want. That'll work for me. Boom, onion complete. Now I've got some of that cucumber, cucumbero. Let's cut the Tiny bottom little off. pickles. Cut this in half, and then we'll just. But yeah, they are called bread and butter pickles. I don't know why. Okay. That should be enough. Gina says, have you forgotten, Dylan? A star is born. A star is born. She's quite a star. Reeves is a critical part of Well Your World. Remember when the Reeves cam started out as a joke? <laughs> yes, I sure do. <laughs> it was like a day that, well, you guys have seen that he's got the stove cam. Sometimes he has an oven cam. And then... He was doing a show where he didn't need one of the cameras. I'm like, I'll put it on my face. It'll like kind of be really funny. <laughs> and it was. Everyone was laughing the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Reebs makes the show everything better. I'm more myself with Reebs. It's hard being by yourself in the kitchen, you guys. Live to everybody and you're just like, you have nobody to banter with. Oops, got a little bit of the skin here. Someone says, bread and butter pickles get their name from depression era meal of thinly sliced pickles between slices of buttered bread. I'm fascinated with stuff like that, like the depression era meals and hard, hard time ship meals because they're usually like healthier stuff. Mm -hmm. Obviously, butter's not healthy, but... So we're going to use this. <laughs> we're going to use this. Lori says that I'm the wind beneath your wings. She sure is. She is. It's not an exaggeration at all. Okay, let's build a wrap. Y'all, all we did was blend up a sauce and do a little chopping. This is easily a 10 minute meal. Where's my lavash? This is a magical product from Trader Joe's. This is a whole wheat lavash. They have a not whole wheat. Don't get that one. Get the whole wheat version. They're so versatile. They're so handy. The texture is perfect. And they, I think they just have a little bit of salt, but not very much. Okay, and yeah, well it's got like 400 milligrams of sodium. So it's not no sodium, but it's a really fast option and a little salt for most people that watch our videos can do that, but it's got to be up to you. Uh, you can easily make this as a salad. Just put down a bed Ooh. of greens and, or you can put down a bed of quinoa greens and you can make a hamburger bowl. Okay? I'd use that microwave rice for that. 
ooh, the microwave rice would be great for that. Mm -hmm. I considered I considered doing the microwave rice with the kidney beans, but I thought I didn't want to complicate it. So now let's take a bit of our hamburger, haha, <laughs> and throw that down. On I put a little uh, a little drizzle of mustard down first, because I still want to have the mustard and ketchup and everything in addition to our secret sauce. The McReeb sauce. Okay, what did we what did you do next, Reeb's? Last night? Oh, oh I, I took ate the, the lettuce too. Yeah. And yeah. I just broke it off with my hand. I didn't even, I don't have time to chop. Okay, so how about that? Oh, that works too, Dill. Boom. So we've got some lettuce. We've got the cucumbers. Let's get a little nice little row of cucumbers. We got the pickles. And you're just making a wrap. Simple, simple. Take some of this beautiful red onion. Sprinkle that on. And you could, the nice thing about this is you can make 10 of these almost as fast as you can make one of these. Uh, what did I miss? Tomatoes. Boom, we got that tomato there. Let's get in that avocado. Ooh, yeah, avocado. Okay. We got the lettuce, we got everything else. We just need our secret sauce, am I right? And some ketchup. And some ketchup. We'll do the ketchup first. A little bit, let's come up close here, y'all. A little bit of ketchup. Yum. This is our Well Your World SOS free ketchup, sweetened with real fruits. And now we've got that Thousand Island. Let's get that Thousand Island. Reeves likes it saucy. Don't be afraid here, y'all. Get it saucy. Okay. Boom. Look at that. Flip it, turn it. Go past all your stuff and pull it back. That's, that's, that's the, the Chipotle burrito method. There you go. Turn it and now cut it at an angle. You got to keep it pretty. Boom. Look at that beautiful wrap. Oh, and then, did I do it right? And then make two more of those and present them to your husband. <laughs> and then I'll get, you can take even more secret sauce for dipping. Grab another little Rami. You got some more sauce, boom. Yeah, because you need extra sauce. Look at this beautiful wrap. Show the inside of that. Yeah, oh yeah. Here, where's this side? Oh, look at how lovely that little wrap is. And how easy was that? We didn't have to cook anything. We just blended up a sauce. And let's be real, you don't even have to use the sauce. You could just mash some kidney beans and make a wrap. Reeves, are you coming for the taste test? Because I'm not waiting. Apparently, there is a drooling emoji. Oh. <laughs> Use it now. <laughs> mm. We used to ask for applause. This is so good. I'll take the applause emoji, sure. <laughs> if it doesn't get all over your face. Mm, this is good. Okay, this is meal number five. Five meals. Oh boy, that's gonna make a mess. Uh oh, you lost a cucumber. Mm. Oh my gosh, we can't even talk it so good. That sauce is amazing. You love it? You invented it. Mmm. Mmm. I know, Dill, you're like not that mm. into copycat stuff, but I kind of am because mm -hmm. this is so nostalgic. It, is it? it tastes exactly like a thousand mm. island. Yeah, oh, I can't stop eating it. I feel a little embarrassed and noisy, but that's how I felt. I'll, I'll show with everything. You mm. Here, let me get you a napkin. Mmm. Here's a little napkin. That tastes like a naughty burger, you guys. <laughs> and it is not naughty. It's way healthier than that. Okay. Last bite. Mmm. You nailed it with that. You know, we were talking mm. about going up north for just like a day trip somewhere cooler. It'd be it's great to out. bring these. Oh, this would be perfect because you can easily put all of your little ingredients in a Tupperware. This is some of the stuff we're going to talk about on our next show, mm. our camping episode. Please join us for our camping episode coming up two weeks from today on the 22nd. We're going to do a camping episode. We're going to show you all the tips, tricks, hacks that we love to do camping. There it is, camping. <laughs> sign up for the free trial. There's a link down below. There's a link down below in the description box. Click it, sign up, join us. 
Ooh, there's Ooh. us with, out at the campsite. This is when we went to the Grand Canyon last year. Reeves, you were super pregnant. Actually, I wasn't you weren't super, super pregnant. pregnant. That was early. I was pregnant. like barely pregnant. Here's a deal, a dish we made right on the flame. This has the soy curls in there, potatoes and bell pepper. I'm not gonna tell you too much. Let's keep going. Ooh, we made a happy little tofu scramble at the campsite that morning. That mm -hmm. one we'll probably show you. And this is like our little setup at the campground. We took our own little tablecloth and everything. Pretty fun, pretty fun. And that's what it's gonna be, folks. I'm excited. So today we made a chowder with just a few really simple frozen ingredients. Dump and go, let it get hot and eat it. I'm gonna be reheating it as soon as we hang up. <laughs> then we did the chickpea lettuce cups. Those were really tasty. It was just chickpeas, some spices on the stove. I'm pretty sure Boom. that was like a five minute meal. That was probably a five minute meal. Then we did uh, Reeves' favorite nourish bowl, Winco. steamed bowl of meal. food meal. And that was good and fast and yep. very easy. Then we did that ramen. We just cooked up the ramen noodles. We made a peanut sauce. We added the frozen things into the, the cooking water with the noodles. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. The boil water. The boil water. And then boom, you had a really healthy Asian noodle bowl. Mm -hmm. How good is that? And then we did the hamburger wrap. Super tasty, super simple. Invented by a little me bit of and kidney my beans. favorite. Everything was starchy and filling. Everything was totally whole food, plant-based, oil-free. If you don't love these flavors, you just haven't gotten started yet. So get in there, try these easy recipes. The easier you can make it, the less thought required, the less chance you're gonna go get fast food from some junk place. Make it really simple with everyday ingredients, you won't regret it. And that's mm -hmm. what's gonna allow you to stick, for example, to your July challenge and your oh, yeah. healthy lifelong diet, period. If you're signed up for the free trial, you'll get an email in a few hours with all of the recipes that we've done today. Yeah. If you're not signed up, you simply won't. You're gonna just have to watch the video <laughs> over and over and over with your notepad. Good luck. <laughs> Thank yeah. you all for your support. Thank you for being here live. It was really fun. Yeah. We'll catch you on the next episode. It was Anything so else? much fun to have all these fresh new faces in the chat. Yes, thank you for joining us. It means the world that you would be here to support us. So thank mm -hmm. you very much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.